Morning guys, I hope you're all doing well. It's Farmer Daily here at Cannon Hall Farm and uh, I was just going to give you a little bit of an update on the goats that we brought in the other day. You might have seen the video uh, on the Facebook feed of Rob and Dave <laughs> and Tom bringing these uh, goats inside. If you haven't seen it, go find it because it's absolutely hilarious. I'll put a little clip of some of the antics in the bottom of the video here. Um, but these goats we brought in it was very, very good timing uh, by Rob and Dave because they've both kidded. In the past two days, they have both given birth and the rain outside for the past two days has been absolutely terrible. So if they weren't inside, there's a very, very good chance they would have been in big trouble. So let's have a look at them and see how they're getting on. Right, here we are. So this is the first one. This kidded uh, a couple of days ago. And we've got two here and they're not doing uh, not doing great, or at least one of them isn't. This one on the left is doing perfectly fine. That's getting both loads of milk. Unfortunately, mum has got a little bit of mastitis, so a little bit of an infection in her order. And that means that the little one, just hiding behind her just over there, that one, is unfortunately not getting enough milk. So Kate, Farmer Kate, is doing a cracking job of bottle feeding that. Uh, Rob's doing the evening shifts and Kate's doing the daytime shifts, making sure it still gets enough milk to keep it going. So that's a little bit disappointing, but it's one of those things that happens. It's one of the things we used to, and it's one of the things we know how to sort. So that little one is going to be uh, completely fine one way or another. We'll make sure it gets fed. And then just last night, this one just here has given birth. Now, these are much bigger. Uh, much stronger goat kids really we can't get too close because mum uh, has been living outside for a little while and I don't know how else to describe it other than to say she's gone a little bit feral she's uh, used to be perfectly fine indoors and we had no problems with her whatsoever but we can't go near her now without her going uh, a little bit mad so she's had two and they are doing really really well I can't see Fingers crossed, touch wood. I can't see any problems with those guys whatsoever. Um, both doing really, really well and both in good condition. And mum's doing fine as well. So, that's a little update on these. We uh, are a little bit disappointed with this one, but that happens. This one's doing perfectly well. So, the thing to remember is, they're all happy and healthy and that's the main thing. Right guys, so thanks very much for watching. Uh, a great result there, really. Um, Getting those goats inside in just the right time. Um, some great stockmanship by Rob. Um, if they'd been left outside in this rain, who knows what would have happened. They might have been perfectly fine, but there's a good chance they wouldn't have been. So got them inside on the straw, uh, and now they're having a bit of a rest and staying out of the rain. So again, thanks very much for watching. You know, we massively appreciate it. Uh, don't forget, we do have our TV show starting. That's next week, uh, Tuesday the 16th of June on Channel 5, this week on the farm. 8 p.m. Don't miss it. Um, we're so very, very thankful to have the opportunity to do it, and we're so very, very thankful for all you uh, farm fans and especially all you supporters who've been uh, singing us praises for so long now, and it's done such great things. So, massively grateful. Thank you for watching this video, and don't forget to like and share as always. It massively helps. Thanks again, and see you later. Bye, guys.